Oh, that's so neat. Oh, we're having wine. Hachi's having a nap. Dominique is having her little thing. And Robert and uh, Sunkatsu are sharing a, a little sip. Yeah. Oh, Lord. This dude really reminds me of a, uh, of a, uh, Shovel Knight enemy. Oh, huh, maybe I need to... Hmm. Wait, I might have it. Oh, whatever. If I'm gonna die here, you know. But yeah. Um, if you would like to see... Oh, hey, there's some guys in the background. If you would like to see a full playthrough of this game, please, I recommend buying it yourself, because this game kicks ass. I do think that it is still, like, an 8 out of 10. There we go. Okay, so it is possible to get that with what I had. That was stupid. Hachi, go. Okay. Damage mitigated. That one's a lot slower. Clear my floor here, huh? Bad trade. That's okay. The problem is that, like, having one character who has a really good jump in a game where platforming is a thing is, like, painful. If it's a thing where you can continue without them, like... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Like, I should always be able to have access to a jump. I know that the other guys all have a jump. But, like, come on. I would like to be able to play the video game as it was intended. <laughs> oh! Once you're in pogo mode, you can hit left or right and just go. What happened there? I'm certain that this NES game shouldn't lag, right? So these are also piloted by dogs? Wow. Pogo Pogoing is very good. I didn't use it on my um, first playthrough and when I uh, did the second episode. That's a great way to just lame it out if you don't mind my phrase. Oh yeah, I have this now. Is that also a pogo spot? 
I mean, let's look, right? Because I certainly don't want to do that just from looking at it. Hmm. I don't think I get in the height. Whatever. I guess I'll play my video game. But yeah. Oh, God. I just realized. I, I save all these to a playlist called Castlevanias. Drop like a rock. Um, I save all these to a playlist called Castlevanias, which is where I play my Castlevania games. Like a rock. Um, right, he doesn't have the same jump. <laughs> Whoops. That's my bad. He doesn't even have a good jump, in fact. That's uh, problematic, I'll say. Okay, sometimes I do get clipped. That's too bad. Oh. They uh, kind of got me there, huh? Hmm. Sometimes I do have the ability to move around, and sometimes I don't. Is it... Oh, God. Does it also have to do with... The fact that you do different jumps based on if you're moving or not. Because, ugh. May I say, ugh. Okay, their short hops are almost better. I don't, I, I mean, I say almost, but like, short hops are better. Whoops! That was just straight up walk off. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, well... So I've, I've identified my issue with Hachi's jump. It's that you... Oh, sweet lord. You have to identify if it's going to be a hover jump or a regular jump before you hit the jump button. The, the thing of if it is a, a hover or a normal jump is literally just... Okay, when you hit the button, did you hold it? And so you have to be holding it when you jump. You cannot hit it before. And that's gotten me killed. So no, he does not have a cooldown. But... And then with Dominique, you just have to, like, have a lot of good control over her. Right. Just described this very thing. The checkpoint's here, though. God, so does, does that mean that doing this in a certain way sometimes means that you go without checkpoints? Because that's kind of interesting. There's actually a mechanic in Shovel Knight. Again, Shovel Knight, talking about that because it was another very good uh, classical 8-bit Castlevania-inspired fun game like, uh, like we've been talking about here. But in Shovel Knight, you can actually destroy your checkpoints and they drop shitloads of cash. Sorry, I've been, I've been saying uh, shit a lot today. Pardon my French. Um, but you can destroy your checkpoints, and that's like, what if in Dark Souls you could kill a bonfire, and then it gave you a whole bunch of souls, and then you couldn't level up at it, or come back from death at it, but you'd get souls. 
I just didn't hit the jump button there. So if you're good, it doesn't matter. You can just keep it going, you know? Oh, wow. I totally tried to preempt that, but you weren't even coming onto the platform with me, dude. That's on you. You baited me. So they try to drop it right in front of you. I think all the characters might walk the same speed. Wow. That was just pure luck. I just forgot to hit the jump button before hitting my punch button. Okay. I... <laughs> See, I've had this realization of like I actually in in the playlist that are that is called Castlevania on my channel. The games I have played are two Bloodstained games, which granted are trying so hard to be Castlevania and literally or only not called Castlevania because of legal reasons. You Perfect use of Robert. Except it didn't really do anything. <gasps> okay. That's good, at least. I was worried it would have killed me. There's a lot of things like that, where it's like, you went up? Okay, well, now that the platform that was there is not there anymore, so you'll die when you, when you drop. And that's just tough. Okay. I'm recording a lot more episodes in this session. I don't know if anyone pays attention to this, but... Oh, God. I don't know if anyone pays attention to this, but I, I was like, hey, signing off at the, at the end of the last... I say, well, end of the last part, but who knows when that was for you. The other thing is, this is the first LP where I've begun to use speed up. You know, like your classical... Uh, what era is that even? Oh, come on. But in a lot of your classical LPs, you'll see people use the old speed up button in order to uh, get through a difficult part. And of course, they're still just playing it, but... So I actually switched to stick for that. Word. These are moments that I do like. I do like when, when you're just like, you're just down to these guys and you're like, okay. Nobody's gonna come help me. I've gotta figure it out. I've got a platform with these dudes. Or maybe I could just... Later. I've got the health. Go up. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hey, I think I recognize you. I, um, I actually played this game. I bought all three games in a Steam sale at one point, and I, I got all of them together uh you know both bloodstained one and two and ritual of the night bloodstained curse of the moon one and two and ritual of the night that is <laughs> oops uh yeah i got all of them together well that ain't good Okay, yeah. Reset. 
I'm not doing the boss like that. Um, and yeah, so I, I was like, let's help Pete Bloodstain. And I, I played it for like, I didn't play through the whole game. I played through most of it, I think. Or did I? I had also seen uh, my good friend Robert play the game on his own time. Oh, come on. Okay. So maybe we just kill with Zangatsu? Because Dominique doesn't appear to be able to... I... Dominique definitely can skip them. Let's be clear here. It's totally doable. What I lack is the talent. Okay. Let's cleave the moon then, shall we? Sorry, my ashes are uh, annoying me a tad. Yeah, I got all vampired up for this. I hope that's okay. Well, that ain't good. Oh. For God. Huh. This is the infinite hallway that they were talking about from Castlevania, I'm sure. Don't even start it over here. Come on. Okay. Let's give it another shot. I like that the fact that the uh, lion may uh, the lion head on her belt does roar. It's happening, though. It's working, at least. God, these guys are going to blow me up before I have the chance to get to her. Though, I guess I do have all this. Alright, so that cost me 18. But, I did get 22 back. Okay. Let's see about it then. I know that she does heal upon death, but... I'm not going to even try doing it with Robert. Robert is so situational. Okay. Half, half full. Ooh. Ooh, it might happen. It might happen with Robert. <laughs> I guess it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's uh let's go back to using Zangatsu the tank. And we'll just have him cut through these fools. Oh. He's at full health. Let's take it. I don't think it'll be that useful, but just in case.
Okay, let's go stand over there and hit her with Zangatsu. And then we'll run over there and shoot at her with Robert. And then we'll go to the middle with Dominique? Maybe? Again, great design, though. Yeah, so we can do that with uh, with him. That's his like install. Through the power of Meathead, we have done it. Yeah, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> All right. Moon cleaved. Whew. I just so we're all on the same page here as well. I would also I would really like it if um there were more games like this. Like, I think this game is great. Alright, Stage 8, Demon Crown. This is the last level, so I am going to take a little break.